five presidential aspirants in five presidential aspirant in the 2012 election are trying to bring President John Mahama and Nana Ibeda into, into a meeting ahead of the Supreme Court ruling on the election petition, which will decide on the fate of the two. The five failed aspirants pushing for the meeting want the two to jointly and on the same platform pledge their commitment to peace and their willingness to accept the ruling. The five flag bearers of the PNT, CPP, UFP and GCPP and the only independent presidential first called on the NPP first called on the NPP leader at his Nima residence explaining that the initiative aims to ensure the country remains intact after the Supreme Court's verdict. So we want to continue to urge everyone uh, to continue to support our nation and put patriotism before partisan politics. All of us, we believe that the inertia of political polarization I mean, should give way to uh, visionary uh, cohesiveness that can... They commended the two... They commended the two leaders for allowing themselves to be subjected to the authority of the judiciary, thereby strengthening their hand as an arm of government. They, however, put forward some proposal. The one who will remain victorious must consider to ensure the unity of the country. It is the first time in the history of this country that we have gone through a petition like this. One understands the law differently from the way it is being interpreted. We have watched it in court. People translate it in different manners. This this peace meetings all over this peace meetings all over the country is necessary to educate the people. It's not what you hear in court that the judges will use that to determine the case of the court. So we should admire what is happening in court and believe that whatever the verdict, which way it comes, let's believe in the rule of law, let's accept it the way it is, let's maintain peace. The Ghanaian man would like to have three square meals. Nations director of the NPP, Nations director of the NPP, Nana Kumia, told the media after the meeting, Nanado reiterated his commitment to accept the ruling of the Supreme Court. Essentially, the parties are committed, uh, but to say somebody should not seek a review is premature. Let the verdict be delivered, and then if you have that kind of advice, you put in that advice at that time. In their meeting with the president at his cantonment residence, President Mohammed said he stands by his pledge to accept any outcome from the Supreme Court. You know, know where we've come from. You know, know where we've come from. Uh, we've been on this journey since 1992. Uh, we have a supreme law of the land, which is the Constitution, and all of us went to a referendum in 1992 and adopted that Constitution as the supreme law of the land. And so once we did that, we agreed that we we're going to be guided by the Constitution. And the Supreme Court, as a creature of that Constitution, is the highest court that adjudicates disputes. The judiciary is the final arbiter. All for the, 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 the added, he's all for the all-inclusive government being advocated. Should the group the two together on the same the two together on the same platform, the message should boost the efforts to ensure general acceptability of the verdict come August 29. President John Ajekum Kufo has asked for restraint after the Supreme Court ruling on the election petition on August 29th. He advises that a public posturing must be guided going forward. Those and vanquished should know they are not there for themselves but for all Ghanaians. He was speaking to my colleague Marin Ture at the residence today, yesterday. Sorry. Uh, there have been petitioners and there have been respondents, many uh, two sides. What uh, should happen is, wherever the decision is going to fall, uh, if those are judged as uh, what victorious, no, for, no, 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 not there for themselves. No, they are there for Ghana. So magnanimity should be there. Uh, that should mean cutting down on uh, cut calls and 
taunting and that sort of thing. Uh, those against whom the verdict will go should also restrain themselves because after all, uh, we, we do cost three years, we do cost three years, four years down the line. Polak is alternating, Polak is alternating, is alternating systems. Today is your turn, tomorrow it might be my turn. The thing not to do is to try to end it all in one day. So when we behave like that, and uh, the generality of us appreciate uh, things this way, then we move ahead and then we use the checks and balances system of government. governance to be account go 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 governess to be accountable as far as possible and transparent. Get them to know that they they are there because the most of us decided they should be there. Power is not theirs. Power is in the people. If they know that, then they will continue to be uh, modest and govern well. If they don't govern well, the people should be up and doing next time around. We get them out, we vote again. <laughs> so this is how. Checks and balances, trust in democracy. It's difficult to work, but it's the best system. As apparently Churchill said, it's difficult. Democracy is very difficult, but it's the best. It's far better than, say, coup d'etat or anything of sort. We don't want any pretenses. The new Patriotic Party General Secretary, Kwejo Owusefriye, has appealed to his party supporters in Tamale to remain calm whilst counsel for the five T activists initiate T activists initiate the death by hanging for the death by hanging for the death of Abdul Rashid Mohammed in February 2009, whilst the rest are to serve 36 years jail term each. The General Secretary made the appeal when he visited family members of the five and party supporters in Tamale to show solidarity. The visit comes a day after the Tamale High Court presided over Justice Lawrence Mensah delivered the sentence. Yakubu Yahuza by a unanimous decision, by a unanimous decision, by a seven-member jury. The NPP General Secretary was joined on the visit by Northern Regional Executives of the party and the Tamale Metropolitan Police Commander. ASP Abanga Caesar. Kujo Usui Friye said the thoughts of the entire NPP family are with the five. He said, having spoken to their lawyer Nana Obri Boahin, he remains confident they have solid grounds for an appeal, but added that they would prefer the appeal is heard in Kumasi rather than Tamale. We justice, we believe that justice, we believe that the law should take its own natural course and that at the end of the day, they will win their freedom and come and join us as members of one family. Tamale needs peace. All of us need peace. And therefore, we should all help in the, in the process of ensuring that there's peace, even now, more than ever. Tamale Metropolitan Police Commander ASP Abanga Caesar commended supporters of the NPP for the way they've conducted themselves since the verdict was pronounced. <laughs> I'm happy you are all here. I'm happy nothing happened. And you know that. Keep it. Keep it. Even if something will happen, let this happen after 29. Mohammed Hashmin's report. Nurses at the Kolobu Teaching Hospital who were hired within the past years have threatened to go on strike by September 2nd if they are not paid salaries on them for the past 10 months. Nurses numbering over 600 have for the past months complained about the non-payment of salaries since January 2012 when most of them were hired. 
according to them, calls on other consents have fallen on the consents have fallen on deaf ears. The aggrieved nurses today marched to the office of the Ghana Registered Nurses Association's office to present their petition. The nurses say even though authorities of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital have offered to give them an advanced salary payment, they say that cannot be substituted for their salaries. We are not asking for allowances, we are not asking for motivation, we are not asking for incentives. We are asking for what we have worked for. So we are fed up. You bear with me that living in Ghana, the cost of living is high, everything is expensive. So we want the salary. Is what we deserve. Santa Crobia, the strike threats. Santa Crobia, the strike threats raised by the strike threats raised by the nurses. I said they are still working with the Ministry of Finance and the Kolibu Teaching Hospital to resolve the issue. The Isunafo North Municipal Chief Executive Mohamed Kwekuduku has, has threatened to get all teachers at the basic school level in the municipality transferred if people do not perform well in the 2013 BC. In 2012, four schools at the exams. At the exams. The MC blames poor performance at the BEC on lack of supervision and lackadaisical attitude of teachers to teaching. He won't agree to the assertion that pupils are recording 0% in the BEC because of untrained teachers posted to the area. Mohamed Doku said the assembly, in collaboration with government, has provided the necessary infrastructure for most of the rural schools in the municipality. Therefore, the teachers have no excuse not to perform. In Ensure discipline and supervision. Ensure discipline and supervision in all basic schools. Threatening to get in discipline teachers transferred. We spent not less than 3.5 million Ghana cities on infrastructure alone. Over 2,500 bicycles to uh, pupils who stay far away from their schools, constructing teachers' cortices and bungalows to make sure that teachers are well accommodated. So putting all this together and let's go. The Sunafu North Municipal Education Director Yelbu low, Yelbu low participation of low participation of communities in educational activities and the poor learning environment as challenges curtailing improvement of education in the municipality. If our children do not want to learn, they are rather chasing, they are rather chasing money, galamse, carrying of cocoa and other things, and then being used by their parents to do farm work to go to enter the market. In fact, especially on weight, it's something that is it's something that is not also helping us in education. The municipality is worried private schools perform better than public schools at the BEC. Traders allocated stores at the Mamprobi Tuesday market here in Accra have virtually abandoned them because they say it does not attract enough shoppers. This comes as a blessing to others in dire need of shelter, including some prostitutes who have turned the abandoned stores into brothels. Etonam Se has more. <laughs> This is the Mamprobi Tuesday market, very busy on Tuesdays. Traders do brisk business here, but a worrying situation stare the market's women in their face. Unknown people have turned the stalls into sleeping places at night. The traders allege prostitutes house their customers here and litter the whole place with contraceptives. A look around the market confirmed what the market women complain of places for women who are places for women who are unable to pay their rents these items mattresses and household appliances and household appliances decorate the stalls owners return to them at night 40 year old abla is comfortably housed here with her three children and she tells us she has nowhere else to go after being ejected by a landlord for banana and see but me me and no one me cook me kwa bane miss kana sane was me pn me betra who are pam me three months in me me so me bahan me so me bahan Maybe sa boy be wo market no me be sa no se me pese me betra ha ne me ye dua ne me ko market me ko echi o se o enye hwe me betu me betra ha anka me nyesika kakrebia ne me ko ha idem 
Mathias Kamanu, 600,000. Traders say both AMA and market authorities have tried to drive them out but failed. Extra had ye a binuma to two of fear. May be a fire machine. Now, by him be a may baba, oh, ya tune, a may baba, oh, ya tune, say a court on by dinami. Yes, that is an ime, a bagia market, she shall would delay me. I may award delay me in the la cashier following him. Young guests, New York boys, I feel Johnny at them, or be a dear to me, that will be sacra wound. Now, fear gets in the answer, said ye, by a bay gets in the near tomb, not peace, Sam Rahan. If you say, said your colony go go on, move on, say, a binny last, Uncle Sacra, so be no be that. Traders refuse to use the stores, perhaps, but have influenced quarters who now occupy them. Several and will rather sell outside and, 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 and will rather sell outside the market with hopes of their decision. Their decision. Those in the their, their decision. Those in the market lament is posing danger to their lives. I make niya jela mi jela onu pa I make boy mo de cash ya me ne fit money e miye jofi owe e ka me se I make beko. Or be a tranemi, what will you be a tranemi? Cotabia disturbances. I may boom, Bokomoko, a blow more. The traders have defied all orders to return to the stalls. That's what I'm saying. The Bank of Ghana has announced significant boost in the country's foreign exchange reserves, having overcome severe pressure that saw a decline in the value of the Ghana cities. Addressing the media the second economic policy coordinating meeting, Dr. Henry Kofi Wampum stated that the reserves are enough to cover three months of import. A dip in the foreign reserves which governments blamed on dwindling inflows saw the city lose significantly. In the first six months, the reserves have since the reserves have since improved. We have seen some stability on the foreign exchange market for a while. Our reserves have been boosted. Uh, we now have um, reserves of more than 5.6 billion um, cities, which are uh, which is can. Um, supports more than three months of imports as well. We also are looking forward to all the second half, which normally is uh, much better than all we expect that we expect that stability to continue into the second half. Vice President Christosia Misa reviewed the performance of the economy the performance of the economy in the first half of the year, stated the economy had recorded some growth despite the challenges. The GDP growth objective in the first quarter was difficult but in the second quarter I see that um, growth has resumed and therefore it's looking like we are on an upward trajectory. In terms of, um, I've, seen, I've seen that the central bank is saying that in the confidence we're weak but the confidence we're weak but that consumer confidence has improved in the, in the, second, in the second quarter of the year. So it just indicates that the difficulties of the first quarter are behind us and the second quarter has been good and I hope that the third quarter will be even be better given some of the difficult challenges, difficult um, policy decisions that have been taken and implemented. Finance Minister Setekwe explained the growth is mainly because the power crisis has been largely resolved. In that as a power crisis in particular, really over time we had really over time we had a lot more of our own power plants coming on on stream and uh, the gas from Nigeria you know flowing so we suddenly saw some pickups you know in the economy uh, going towards the end of the quarter and you know go the second quarter and we are sure that by the end of the uh, third and certainly fourth quarter the economy will be back uh, you know on, on track so as the economy picks up you know we expect taxes to also you know to a general meeting this weekend to, 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 to a general meeting this weekend with the entire brief them on the and also deliberate brief them on the and also deliberate on the necessary and also deliberate on the necessary economic policies needed 
And that was all for the news. But before we go, a look again at the headlines. Five failed presidential aspirants pushed for a meet meeting between Nana Addo and President Mahama prior to the ruling on the election petition. MPP General Secretary appeals to supporters in Tamale to remain calm as lawyers initiate appeal processes for the five convicted. Sunafor North MCE threatens to transfer all basic teachers in the municipality if people don't pass the 2012 BEC. Up next is sports. <laughs> Thank you.